Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to give you a quick tip on how you can showcase testimonials on your website. And yes, I will show you the method for both Squarespace 7.1 and 7.0. So if you're on 7.1, which is the newest version of Squarespace, there's a super easy way to add testimonials to your website. So I'm going to click on add section on my test page, and then we're going to click onto the list layout. And what's really super cool about the list layout is that they are perfect for testimonials. And as you'll see, there are plenty of auto layouts, uh, which basically says these sections let you quickly add content items and switch between layouts without having to manually rearrange them. That's great news because we can add testimonials that look super awesome to Squarespace website now. So you have some that can be like scrolling like this, which is great if you have a lot of testimonials. Or you can add uh, like a small section like this if you don't have a lot of testimonials to choose from. So for this example, I am going to select one of the layouts that have the scrolling buttons. So I'm going to choose this one. This must be, this is one of my favorite layouts. And the way you basically customize it is super simple. So all you have to do is click on edit content. And then first of all, you get to uh, you get to decide whether which uh, sections are shown. So if you click on title, uh, you can add a title that says uh, kind words or what they're saying or overheard on the internet or whatever it is that you want to add here. Or you can just simply say testimonials. And then you can add a button that basically tells them to go check out your services or get something get the same results that these clients have gotten. It's a great way to keep visitors on your page and just keep them scrolling after they see the testimonials. So I'm going to uncheck these because I want to show you how to customize the items. So then you also can decide what is shown. So you can show the image or you can hide it. You can show the title, which is great for uh, their name. You can also show the body, which is the testimonial itself. And then you can show the button under individual section which you don't need to do if you're using it to showcase testimonials and then when you click on content this is where you actually edit the content of those testimonials so you can delete it with uh, by pressing the trash can obviously and by clicking this little arrow you can add your own image so if we click on replace or delete you can search for images and let's see do, do we have let's say let's just choose this one for example i'm going to add that image and it's automatically going to crop it into the circle like this and then we're going to add their name so let's say jane smith and then you can paste the contents of your testimonials here and then basically you repeat the process for all the other testimonials. If you have more than this, you can click on add and then that'll add, add another list item or another testimonial. And then you'll go through the same process of customizing it like we did before. I'm just going to delete it. And then for the design tab, you can switch between a simple list, a banner slideshow or a carousel. And if you go with a simple list, this is what it looks like. Let me move this so you can see it. A banner slideshow basically is gives you the image and then the text over the image and then it slides to the next item and then you can adjust the layout width whether you want it to be full bleed, full or inset which looks like this and you can also uh, modify the padding between the items, how the text is aligned, whether you want infinite scroll, whether you want the adjacent slides to be seen or not and then you can also adjust the size. Let me just switch it back to the carousel, which is what it was. So if you toggle the infinite scroll on, basically this will give you second arrow right here. And that just means that we have four, if you remember, and it just continually scrolls between those four. So that's what infinite scroll means in this case. And then you can also for some of them for like carousel item, you can choose the crop of the image. And then under style, you can control the text size, whether or not you want to display a card layout so the image is bigger or the text is bigger. And then you can also control the padding in between the items. And then you get to choose the how the arrows appear. So whether you want them at the center or at the bottom here, how they are aligned and uh, how they're offset from the 
items in the carousel and whatnot. So that's basically how you can do it in Squarespace 7.1. And as I've said, you have plenty of layouts to choose from. So if we have another section, just go to the list section and then you can choose between all these wonderful layouts to showcase your testimonials and they can be styled similarly to allow you to display the testimonials on your site. Uh, my personal favorites are the ones on the bottom with the images because they already do a lot of the pre-work for you so you don't really have to, like if you choose this one, you don't really have a lot of customization to do and you can just add your content to it and replace it. Or you can also do another one that's one of my favorites if we remove this one and go back under the list. Is one that has a simple background like this, which can be which can be used to showcase like your list of benefits or uh, features that are built into the product, or you can even use this to showcase fun facts about you or a list of your values if that's important to your clients. So there are plenty of creative ways to use this, but one of my favorite ways is to use it for testimonials like this. So that's how you would do it on a 7.0 website. I'm going to save the changes. If you are on Squarespace 7.0 though, you don't have this option. So, so unfortunately, if you're on 7.0, you don't have this option. However, there is a way around it. So what you would do in this case is you would go to the not linked section, you would create a new page and choose blog. And then you can name it testimonials and then you create a post. So this is basically what you do here. You don't have to enter a post title. You can go to options and you would upload an image. So I'm just going to search for an image from Unsplash and let's say, let's go with that one. And here under the excerpt, this is my awesome testimonial. Uh, Jane Smith. And we're going to make this bold and I'm going to turn this into monospace and this will be medium paragraph and let's make that italic and then I'm going to click save and publish and then here I'm going to just to simplify things uh, and speed this up I'm going to duplicate it and save and publish of course you would modify the details so you would go once you duplicate it you would go to options you would change the image and you would switch out the testimonial to show the correct one but i'm going to duplicate it one more time and click on save and publish and then what you can do is let's say you want to add a new page for your testimonial so we're going to click on blank page and i'm going to name it testimonials and under page content, I'm going to click on edit and under, in the text block, I'm going to enter testimonials. Switch that to heading two and make it centered. And then I'm going to add a summary block. And now we're going to select the testimonials block we just created. And I'm going to select no meta, metadata and under design, I'm going to switch this to carousel and change this to however many, many testimonials you have obviously and however you can switch this up to at least five items per row so i'm just going to leave it at three because three is all what we have and then for aspect ratio i'm going to choose square and for text size i'm going to put this at extra large i'm going to center the text i'm going to remove this header text and we don't need to display title but we are going to leave the thumbnail and the excerpt on and what you can do is you can switch this to 10 items, but only three items per row. And then when you click on save, they will be able to scroll through it. Right now they can't because there's not a fourth one there. So if we go back to testimonials and I duplicate this one more time and then hit save and publish. And then you go back to the testimonial page we created. They can now scroll to see the fourth one. So that is how you can make the test or how you can showcase the testimonials on your 7.0 website of course you can also modify this modify this so that it only shows one testimonial at a time so if you switch this to one and save it what you can do is you can add a spacer block like this two spacer blocks to create two columns and then you place the summary block in between and you make it slightly smaller so that it's not so 
so that the entire image is not occupying the entire page. And then you click on save and they can scroll through the testimonials as well, like that. So that's how you would showcase testimonials on your website if you're on Squarespace 7.0. That's it for today's video. If you want a step-by-step -step tutorial for building your website, I have a free interactive website roadmap that walks you through the entire process. I will link to it in the description down below so you can download it and get to work on launching your website. And if you want to see even more Squarespace and tech tutorials, be sure to watch the next video and I will see you in the next time in the next one. Bye.